Greetings, everyone. This is Morning Eggnog. My name is James. With me, as always, Kayla. And good morning, everybody. We are very excited to be back on this Monday. Yeah, it's Just been a while. Recording, ready to do this. It's been a while since we've done this, so... I gotta, start st- I gotta stop starting the podcast like that. When was the last time you went to the dentist, Caleb? Uh, I went to the dentist about two months ago. Why? When was the last time you got knocked out of the dentist? I have something? never gotten knocked out of the dentist. Neither have I. Uh, I think the closest I got was they gave me nitro for just numbing, like in general. It I was think really of, like nitrogen. <laughs> I don't. I, it's not nitro. What's it called? Whatever. Nitro. I got. I got the the, the mask. The, the laughing gas. The happy gas. The happy gas. They numbed the crap out of my tooth. I had to get a tooth pulled because it was. It's been bothering me for like fifteen years. Ooh. Yeah, because I got it fixed. I got like a bunch of different. Uh, fillings put in it over time. Yeah. And then they put a crown on it and then they did a root canal on it and none of that worked because a year later it felt, I was eating a Swedish fish and it fell off. Oh gosh. It didn't hurt though. So that, because it had a root canal. So (laughs) yeah. Anyways, so they ripped my tooth out and (laughs) it was pretty, it was like having like four shots of vodka. I uh, like how he's so specific. It's about like four shots of vodka. Because I'm coherent and I can kind of talk. But were you allowed to drive afterwards? Yeah, because they, they, then they oxygenate you. Ah, so and they poison fine. you and then they, they give you oxygen. Pretty much. It was great. Pure oxygen is great. Have you ever been to an, I've never been to an oxygen bar, but I'm assuming it's somewhat similar. I think that would be awesome to go into one of those, what are they called? The tanks? Uh, sensory deprivation tanks. Sure. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, the ones that give you 100% oxygen, like you uh-huh. go in and you actually sit inside of it. Uh, football players do it all the time because it actually helps their body heal faster. I forget what they're called, but they basically well, we pump definitely in. Definitely need one then. They pump in 100% oxygen, um, <laughs> so that way it like heals That's your body. Interesting. Another interesting thought. Uh, before the flood, for those who are creationists, we we don't judge here. The th- just the thought process was that the world was originally 100% oxygen. That's a weird thought. Which is why everything was so much bigger, and better. At- <laughs> lasted longer correct isn't that an interesting thought could you imagine the world on 100 oxygen what if we used 100 of our brains well then we would have to need 100 oxygen to do that <laughs> that's probably actually true except women do i have found out i just watched a video on uh women's bodies <laughs> continue uh look the scientific side of it <laughs> continue. not the other Anyways, <laughs> so we, I have found out that when women listen to something, shut up, James. Keep going. When women listen to something, they actually use their full brain to listen to something. Interesting. So even when they're working and doing something and they're listening to something, they're still using their full brains. Guys, on the other hand, are so compartmentalized, and when we're listening to something, we only use half of our brain to listen. Yeah, it's kind of kind of hard to do that. So that is, it's actually proven that women are better listeners than men, which makes perfect sense. It, if you've ever seen like my dad trying to talk to my mom is hilarious because he'll yeah. just be sitting there like reading a book or something, and she'll have this full on conversation with him, and he's <laughs> like, "Huh? <laughs> well." Well, that I, doesn't help. You know, his how, hearing is gone yeah, too. too. The way I've tried to tell Olivia, I'm like, if you want me to pay attention to you, you got to be like, if I'm doing anything, you just so today I'm going to go to the Target and do all this stuff and be like, hang on, start over. I was not listening to you at all. If, if, if you want me to pay attention, you can say, hey James, I got to make eye contact. Exactly, with you. Yeah, eye contact. If you don't have my eye contact, I'm a moron. I can't. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't be on my phone on Instagram or something. And then you're like, so um, we're going to go pick up groceries today. And we need this, 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 this. <laughs> I don't know what you just said. <laughs> and then you, unfor- the unfortunate part is usually you say, uh-huh, yeah, yes. And then you don't realize what you've just said yes to. And then you try to back out of it. But Why am I at this boutique today? <laughs> Why am I getting a manicure? You agreed to it yesterday. Hey, man, don't knock manicures. I'm not. You just. Have you ever had a manicure? No, I haven't. Pretty awesome. I mean, why are they not called a, a woman cure? Have you ever had a... Uh, <laughs> have, have you ever had a hand massage? Yes, I have had hand massages. That's, thankfully, that was a part of the manicure, and I didn't know I, I needed that. 
and my hand didn't work afterwards. <laughs> I was like, man, I don't, I didn't know. Anyways, the reason I asked all about the dentistry is <laughs> deputies allege that Lauren Etch, who is not a dentist, broke into a dentist's office where she claimed she had formerly worked. Etch allegedly stole twenty two thousand dollars in cash and checks. Which what do you, can you do with a check? Nothing. You can't do and anything with, cash, other than maybe just to annoy the company. Yeah, cash and checks during the May third break in. In Washoe County Sheriff's Office said <laughs> in a press release, meanwhile, <laughs> the to- a tooth distraction on a different date than the break-in. Wait, what? what? <laughs> to pull it back, a Nevada woman broke into a dentist's office, stole money, and pulled 13 teeth from an unconscious patient <laughs> oh. on two separate occasions. Oh, on two separate occasions. So stole, she the, stole mon- the money stole on one money, occasion. Then the tooth extraction occurred on a different date. Oh. Each told detectives. She had <laughs> she also admitted to using anesthetic disposed dis yeah, disposed of by the office. Like they threw it away and she took it. This to lady it. is possessed. <laughs> Each 42 is arrested Wednesday and charged with two counts of burglary and one count of grand larceny. Conspiracy to commit burglary and perform... (laughs) This is... This is... I guess it makes sense. And perform surgery on another without a medical license. Yep, that... (laughs) Investigators did not say how they determined each to be the person of the interest in the case, but they said that she admitted multiple... (laughs) She admitted to multiple people, including deputies, that she had performed a medical procedure. Ah, 13 teeth. <laughs> could, you, could you imagine? That's almost half. Going, That's almost half your mouth. Going to the dentist. And you've, let's say you've been going, to, I, I would say normally if you're going to get an extraction at a dentist or you're being put out, you're going because you're, get, you're getting your tonsils out. Just, wait, I don't think dentists do that. But no, they you're, don't you're getting, do that. You're getting your uh, wisdom teeth out. Yeah. And you're just, you probably, I would assume, have been going to this dentist for a while. Yeah. So, like, you're trusting them to, you know, know what they're doing. And you, it's just the worst day of your life. Not to mention, okay, why would they leave a patient who is unconscious alone? I w- I'm pretty sure they probably sued that company, made that dentist. I'll have to, I'll have to do you, a follow up on this because I didn't even think about. It. You should not be leaving an unconscious patient alone because a stranger they could, could come die. in and break it. Yeah, no kidding. Like you should be monitoring that person because you just poisoned them to the point where they went unconscious. Sorry, <laughs> I've mentioned this before that it, when you basically when you put somebody under. You're actually poisoning their body to the point where it knocks them out. <laughs> that is what anesthesiologists do. They poison people enough to ki- almost kill them, basically knock them out, and then they revive them. So you should not be they, leaving uh, that person yeah. unattended because they might just go, oh, I'm done, and they just die. Or some crazy, <laughs> insane lady comes in and starts yanking out their teeth. Okay, ah, you don't I've, need that one. I've had one tooth extraction, as I said. I guess, yeah, she doesn't care. So she and they're knocked out, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Well, wait, I don't know fi- about it. Doesn't I'm matter. I'm just trying to figure out, like, oh, and how did the person not drown to death on their own blood? Anyways, this is too much to think about. But yeah, thirteen. Uh, if you want to look up the article, uh, that was from I think Fox. But there was there's several the independent covered it and a few others. But yeah, a, a Nevada woman pulled thirteen teeth out of someone's face. Oh, for no reason. I wonder. If, yeah, they get free veneers for sure. Oh, they they probably got a lot more than that. I need to find, while you're doing your story. I'm going to look it up and see. Yeah, I'm pretty what sure because they, they could technic- they could sue the company because of negligence. Yeah, no kidding. Because. If you left me alone when I was unconscious, I am can't protect myself from an insane lady coming in and yanking my teeth. So, yeah, you might as well just finish the job and get dentures at that point in time. 22K pulls 13 teeth. Okay, I'm trying to see oh, if gosh. I can figure out who the patient is. All right. Let's continue on with a different subject about other weird people. Two people walk into a Virginia convenience store wearing 
hollowed out watermelons as masks. So I saw the people, I forget what it is, the people that made up masks to wear, like they, like these people, you know, definitely wore <laughs> watermelon because of the breathing, breathing capability of, uh, and the stopping power of COVID <laughs> for sure. But, I saw a guy with a, a gym sock across his face tied with string. <laughs> I don't know if these are FDA certified masks, <laughs> man. <laughs> uh, so the two people were wearing hollowed out watermelons as masks, <laughs> but they weren't trying to protect themselves from the coronavirus. Police say they were there to steal. <laughs> Oh, uh, one sp- suspect, 20-year-old Justin, was arrested uh, May 15th and charged with wearing a mask in public while committing larceny. Under uh, <laughs> see, underage possession of alcohol and petite larceny <clears throat> of alcohol. So they wore watermelons on their head to go steal beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much cheap. I mean, how much does a watermelon cost? Five bucks? Yeah, they're fairly expensive. I bet you could pay somebody who's a year older than you to go get you alcohol for five bucks. I can imagine there's probably better ways than stealing alcohol. There's got to, I mean. If you really want alcohol, there's way better than hollowing out. How many hours do you think it took to hollow out the water? Did they say anything about the water? No, they didn't. Um, I, have, I don't know. I need to continue. But I mean, it's Virginia. So it's not like you can't get- ask Uncle Billy to go get you some. Oh my or gosh. just raid the fridge. <laughs> uh, according to the police department uh, chief tom he said rogers will appear in court in july a second suspect has <laughs> also been identified but the police are not releasing their information due to active investigation this is a big deal Wait, they can't find them i don't know that's great the incident occurred May 6th when two people were wearing watermelon rinds with eye holes cut out. Like so a, it covered their whole head. It's like a weird KKK. <laughs> Would it be like WWW then? <laughs> watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. That's all it stands for. <laughs> I mean, it's Virginia. They, Anyways. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh... Uh, arrived at Sheets in a black Toyota, according to the press release from the police. They went inside when the crime was committed. I'm in my 46th year of law enforcement, said Larry. Uh, said Larry. I have seen a lot of strange things. This certainly ranks up there with some of the more unusual events, for sure. The police department shared a photo of so- on social media on Saturday. Uh, Larry said... But they took the post down after getting an overwhelming response because they no longer needed any information from the public. <laughs> yeah. So they, they had all the information, so they had to take it down. Okay, because shut up. Guys, shut up. Shut up. Guys, quit sharing this. Shut up. Oh, my gosh. We got it all. Stop. <laughs> we don't need any more information. We don't oh need your two cents. Gosh. Oh, my gosh. So, uh, yeah, they, they've got a picture here. Oh. Oopsies. Send it to me. Dude, that, yeah, that's something else I looked up was oh, gosh. English black pudding. I, I read that as pooping, and I was like, why did you Oh, no, no, no. Not, not pooping. English black pooping. <laughs> <laughs> that's so disturbing. <laughs> the black plague. <laughs> Anyways, so, because I heard it on, uh, it would be Harry Potter. I was listening to Harry Potter again, and they're like, yes, and Ron, Ron Weasley grabbed the black pudding. I was like, oh, what I wonder black what black pudding is. I looked it up. I decided that the English are nasty things. Do they have black meat? pudding? Is a distinct regional type of blood sausage. Oh gosh! And re- originating in the United Kingdom and Ireland, it is made from These are weird pork or beef blood with pork or beef fat and a cereal, usually oats. So it's oats, blood, and fat. <laughs> <laughs> And it's it's a pudding, yes. Or did we, and it's a pudding. Or did we make pudding sweet? Has pudding always been like gross? Well, th- a lot of the puddings in England are well. I I don't know if they really bat poop crazy. Well, because they're like you know a beef pudding or this pudding and that pudding, and then they'll be like, oh look, you know like. This pudding, which is actually a sweet pudding. Like, I think they just call everything I that think, they mash I, into smithereens pudding. 
<laughs> I think my favorite thing that they do. Oh look, toilet pudding <laughs> is they have beans for breakfast. I've never had an Engl- an actual English breakfast, but apparently they have toast and beans. That was something I think I could be wrong, but that's what I've heard is they have beans. I heard that the Canadians drink beer for breakfast. Yeah, hey, you're not supposed to. Do that. <laughs> they have like you know Canadian bacon and beer. <laughs> Almost sounds like an American breakfast, but we're not. Anyways, <laughs> it sounds like a trailer park breakfast. <laughs> sounds like a tra- no. So, <laughs> it's Jack Daniels and bacon. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, oh. so I came across this. It's fishy life hacks from questionable from people with questionable morals. <laughs> <laughs> I heard he liked this. This is inter. <clears throat> so the first one is this is this is a life hack is befriend the elderly. Parking fees are borderline extortion. Bloke, broke college students have to pay through the nose for parking to go to class and <laughs> that they've taken a loan out to attend. If you're <laughs> on the verge of being homeless and want to enjoy free parking near campus, befriend an elderly person. The elderly and handicapped can park in the most strategic places due to their conditions. If you can borrow their tag, <laughs> then you're free to find a nearby parking space on your campus, therefore saving you tons of money. Ridiculous fees. As far as questionable life hacks go, this one by far is the least immoral. One. <laughs> wow, we're really getting into it then. <laughs> uh, step uh, life hack number two. I took my first drink. Can I have another one? Believe it or not, Starbucks will go out of its way to make sure that every customer is thoroughly satisfied. In addition, Starbucks baristas don't particularly care about how much money the company loses since they make a fixed salary or wage. If you want to score free Starbucks, just do the following. Go to a busy Starbucks outlet, order a drink after a friend, have a friend pick it up, then go up to the counter and claim that someone took your drink. There's a pretty good chance that nobody's keeping track of who's ordering what, so they'll believe your story. Alternatively, <laughs> you can say that something's wrong with your drink and they'll make you another one for free and let you keep it. The thing is, a lot of places won't let you keep it. They'll, I don't know. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. Yeah. Um, one time, I didn't. I was at Chick Fil A actually, and I got a, I got my meal, and it was a little odd because like I don't think like I ordered the deluxe and it, like didn't have a tomato on it. Mm-hmm. I was like, ah, they just forgot the tomato. So me being me, I just brushed it off, didn't care. And I think I got something else. Oh, I got a little packet of chicken nuggets, which I didn't order chicken nuggets, but I was like, again, eh, whatever. And I just went and parked. And then a guy, wa- I was within walking distance, a guy walks over and says, hey, I think this is actually your meal. Oh. <laughs> so I got two full meals for free. Oh, that's awesome. Chick-fil-A. That Chick-fil-A. Wonderful. I mean, you can't go wrong with a Chick-fil-A. Not really, no. I hate to rush this, but I got to go to work in like so do four I. minutes. Oh, well... I guess those are the two life hacks. You can look it up if you want to look up more uh, life hacks. It's but we can continue this at the next morning eggnog. True, true. We can continue it. I can add a few more life hacks. Yeah. Uh, but thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to check us out on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Um, you can find us on Instagram and uh, Facebook at Morning Eggnog. If you'd like to be on the podcast, have a green screen background, or if you want to uh, uh, something else, I don't know. Uh, you can email us at morningeggnog at gmail and if. Uh, you rate us on iTunes and send me proof of it. Rate us and leave a review. I will pay for you a dollar. So thanks so much for joining us. Have a wonderful morning, noon. Right. See ya.